Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial where I'll be teaching you as to how you can go ahead and implement the Django SEO Checker package within your application. Now this is a very useful package that Django provides us because it will help us to identify where our SEO is lacking and improvements that can be made. So let's get started. So just to mention, I also have a blank application. So what I'm going to do is just open this up in Visual Studio Code, uh, just so you can uh, see what I mean. So I just have a simple page. Okay, this is a bit zoomed in. So let's zoom out here. Okay, so I'll just reopen this. And let's go from there. Okay, great. So a very simple application. I literally just have one template here. That's my index.html that says hello world. And that's pretty much it. Don't have anything else, anything fancy, nothing like that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to Django check SEO. And as always in order, I'm going to add all the links in the description below to make it easier for all of you. So this is the package itself. So it's going to check all the SEO aspects for our web page of our website. And the cool thing about this package is we can check each and individual uh, page or, or route or anything like that, that we have in our Django app and check the SEO for each web page. So we can copy that and I'm just going to turn off my server and install that package. Now it's going to install a lot of sub packages along with it, but that's not a problem. Uh, that's just how it is. So it's going to install all of those sub packages. So we can just wait for that to install and then we can go to the next set of steps uh, focusing on Django check SEO. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and once this has been installed, we can go on from there. Great. So we can now see all those packages have been installed, which is perfect. And that's looking great. Next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and add the Django check SEO package to installed apps. So you can literally scroll down here and here we can see it. We need to add this in our installed apps. So just go ahead and copy that. Head over to your settings.py file. Uh, I'll just add it down here. So there's going to be quite a lot of packages that we will need to add. All right, there we go. Perfect. And make sure you've got the comma there in place as well. Very important. So that's great. Okay, the next thing that we need to do in our urls.py file, okay, uh, we are going to make use of this URL. Now, this URL is going to help us to actually bring up the Django check SEO page, which I'm going to demonstrate once we set everything up. So we need to add this to our urls.py file so we can actually get to this route. So we need to add this to our main urls.py file. So in my case, I called my project Elevate. So you can go ahead and in your main Django project, just add this in. So I'll just paste this uh, below here and just uh, remove that indentation. There we go. So make sure you've added the following URL as well. Okay. All right. So basically, if we go ahead and run this, we are going to run into an error. Now, I want to show you the error first of all, so I can give clarity and I can explain a little bit more detail as to what's going on here. So just go ahead and run this. And there we go, as expected. Okay, so as you can see here, we're getting a runtime error in our terminal. And this is because we need to add some extra functionality, which is known as Django Sites. Okay, so the good thing about Django Sites is that we don't need to install the package itself, but rather add it in our settings.py. So this is just one of the things that we need to configure for Django Check SEO. So here under installed apps, you can go ahead and add that in. So it's called django.contrib.sites. You can add your comma there. And what we also need to do is we need to add this here, this site ID. So I'm just uncommenting it. So be sure to add this to your settings.py as well. So this is something that we just need, okay, to ensure that uh, Django check uh, SEO is working correctly and that we have no issues. All right. So you'll see now that we don't have any issues. So I'll just rerun the server just to confirm that we don't have any problems with that or whatnot. So let's go ahead and rerun this. And there we go. Perfect. So that's great. Now we can just refresh the page and we're still good. Okay, so the next package we want to install is called Django CMS. So this is basically an enterprise content management software, okay, that's powered by Django. And this is something that we also need to make use of if we want to go ahead and 
use the Django Check SEO package. Now, the Django Check SEO package is dependent on a lot of packages because basically what we get is this whole interface that Django provides us with, and it depends on all these small packages here and there. So do bear with me until the end. You, it will definitely be worth it, so just bear with me. Okay, so what we need to do is install this package, but this package is also going to depend on a package called packaging. Okay, and this is basically just going to provide us with additional uh, utilities, okay, just to build up that interface for Django Check SEO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the following, and I'm just going to go ahead and install the Django CMS package. Okay, and there we go. So a lot of it's been satisfied already, which is great. Now we can go to packaging and we can install that as well. So let's go ahead and add that. All right, great. All right, so I just want to be clear here. So I do have some documentation here on Django CMS. Okay, I will also add this in the description. As I said, um, in all my videos, I'll add all of the links in the description in the correct order. So you can read more here about it, just a little bit more information and some detail. Now, since we earlier installed the Django CMS package, it does depend on a few apps here. So here are the apps. So we already have the Django Contrib uh, Science app here, but we also need to make use of CMS, Menus, and Treebeard. So these are some of the apps that depend on uh, Django CMS. So you can go ahead and add just these three here. We already have Django Contrib Science, so I can zoom in for you if that's better. So we just need these three here. And I'm just going to add it down here, okay? And there we go. All right, so that's now in place, all right? Now, since we've got that all in place and set and ready to go, we do need to go ahead and make our migrations. So go ahead and just say python manage.py, and you can just say a make migration, first of all, just to be safe, just to make sure we don't have any pending issues. Okay, and the main one that we actually need to do is migrate. So we want to migrate all of these database files from these packages or these apps that we went ahead and installed. Okay, great. So for me, I've got nothing to migrate, which is great. So for you, you may need to migrate. Just be aware uh, that you, that is something you need to do. So I've already tested this before. That's why I didn't have to migrate. So just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we can actually go ahead and check this out and see how this looks and everything. So I just want to, first of all, uh, turn on my server. So I'm just going to say run server. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay, so everything's working so far, which is great. Right. Now, before we go further and actually check this out fully, there is something that you must be aware of. So this package won't work unless you have in your application, so for example, the template or the web page that you're checking must at least have a H1 tag. And very important, you need to have a title associated with the web page you're testing. If you don't, it's going to return an error. So just give it a title. Now, essentially titles on web pages are indicated here. So I'm just going to say um, home page, for example. And if I refresh, it will show home pages. Now you need to have a, at least a title on the page that you're testing and as well as a H1 tag at least. So the title is the most important part, not so much the H1 tag, but it's good practice to just go ahead and do that. So make sure you have this or else the package won't work carefully. Now, as you can see, uh, my URLs, if I have a look at them here, so of course, here are my main URLs in Django. So I just have the normal admin page and I have an app here called links, which is passing over to my links app here. And all I have here is an empty route here in my URL. And in those views, I just have a simple view called index, which is rendering this index.html page as you see here. Now, if you just want to go ahead and check out the SEO on this page, itself, okay, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go ahead and add in the following. So that's just going to be the local host address here. And what you can do is you can go ahead and say forward slash Django dash check uh, SEO. And then here you can go ahead and put a question mark page 
equals, and then you're just going to put a forward slash, and this is then going to render the default page here, and it's going to show you what you have on your page, what checks have been found. So what's, what SEO is good on this page? And it's also going to make suggestions such as problems and warnings here. Now do note this is on the empty uh, page. If we have no route for this page here, we can make use of this. Okay, so you can see some uh, interesting parts and you can also go ahead and index and search your H1 tag, for example. So if I change this uh, away from Hello World to, let's go to the index here, I'm just gonna say Hello from Mars. Let's refresh. It's now gonna say Hello from Mars. So it's indexing correctly at the following URL path, URL path searching at just the blank default homepage. Now let's say you have a route, okay? So let's say you don't have, for example, an uh, empty string here. You instead have something like, for example, home, and you, you named your name attribute here as home as well. So to do this is gonna be a bit different. All you're going to do here is after the end of this forward slash, you're just gonna put home. Then it's going to index home here, and it's gonna find it and it's gonna find the tag as well and just get everything in place. Now, if you check now the default page and you go ahead and check it here, okay, it's gonna say page not found and that's exactly what we want because we don't have that view. We only have home here. So technically home will be found and it's going to specifically help us with SEO on that page itself. And you can see it searched for it and it was found. Okay, so this is a very fancy way in which you can go ahead and test out multiple web pages for your Django web application. Very helpful, it's gonna give you some key help and description here for what you can do to improve a few key factors. And you can go ahead and make those changes. All right, so that is something important that you can go ahead and make use of. So if we were to check this out a bit more, for example, I have a warning here that says that I have no H2 tag. So I'm gonna add that to my index.html page here. And I'm just going to say, I need a space ship. And uh, refresh. Okay, and of course, if we were to go ahead and refresh, we can now see H2 tags were found. So the H2 tags, they uh, export, well, you get more information here and you can see it searched it and found it accordingly. So this is one of the cool things that we can add and now it's telling us no keyword. So now we've got a H2 tag, but we need to add a keyword. So you can see this is very helpful for, like I said, checking SEO and giving you a bit of a prompt on helping you with this. Now regarding this long link here, I am going to go ahead and make a note of it in the comment section below for what you need to do to go ahead and check out um, your default um, page with an empty string and if in the event you're making use of a route name. Okay, so I will add that in the comments, this URL here, so you don't need to worry uh, if it's a little bit long, so I will go ahead and do just that, okay. So that's it guys, that's how you can make use of Django Check SEO, a very fancy package, very helpful and very efficient. So that's something that you can go ahead and make use of. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, yeah, and thank you as always for all the support.